you're watching 8-bit days a week and we're gonna try out let's see next on the list this should be ah Bushido Blade 2 it's a fighting game from Square and what it sets this game apart is that uh, it tried to be sort of realistic, wherein if you get hit by a weapon, like usually a sword, katana, in the right spot, you're instantly dead. It's like a, it, you can also run around the arena, sort of like Power Stone, but it doesn't have uh, like crazy projectiles or anything. You can throw a dagger or two, but that's it. Well, anyway, let's see how it plays. This should be a it's a good title to have if you love fighting games and it's unique enough. I think um, It was a nice experiment, at least, from Square during the PlayStation days, as uh, I suppose you won't see anything like this anymore from them. And um, in fact, there's very few games like this. I know we had a few we tried to be to have something like the mechanics of this one where in one fatal hit and you're dead um, I can't remember it for the moment but yeah as you can see there I just hit him once and he's already defeated um, even though they're just sort of like foot soldiers and there he got my arm oh wait I'm still okay oh there he got me so yeah one one uh, very well timed strike can end the match no life bars or anything there I got his arm so he's having a hard time now not to say he's completely defeated already. So he can he move kind of slow and clunky? Especially compared to games, fighting games today, where everything has to be smooth and fluid. But trust me when I say it still actually plays um, exciting. Especially if you're playing with someone, of course. It can get really tense, especially since one simple mistake and you're done. And as you saw earlier, there are multiple weapons in this game, hence uh, you'll have different moves depending on which weapon you chose. And as you saw, you can also unlock characters. Most of them play the same way. It really depends on your weapon. The Shinto has become careless because they believe we are lacking warriors. Now, the time is ripe to attack. We all know that the Shinto headquarters is located on that island. It's clear then. I am the one who will go. Unless we destroy every kinsman of the Shinto clan, nothing will ever change. We must obliterate them. I'll take care of it. 
they may look blocky but um it actually looks great on the um, playstation yeah. classic yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, this is the, as, as far as the graphics can go during that time. It's not completely terrible. of um, fighting games I'd say definitely give this one a try or even if you're not a fan of fighting games since this completely feels different from uh, traditional fighting games like Street Fighter or Tekken even so you'll definitely have a good time with this if most especially if you're playing with someone. So let's see. Let's try the other options here. Just to break monot monotony there. And okay, let's try the other characters. And let's try other weapons. I suppose some characters specialize on certain weapons. how fast matches go <laughs> and wildly swinging attacks without a plan definitely won't work well <laughs> as you saw what happened to me let's see all right let's try one more Alright, we're going up against someone with a spear. And even if he had the range, he got himself open and I went for the strike. And alright, yeah. I definitely recommend this game. It plays well. If you find it kind of clunky, that's really how the game went, even back in the original yeah. hardware. So yeah, uh, this is Bushido Blade in the PlayStation Classic. And that's it for this video, I guess. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Getting tense. Oh, no. Got it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. See you.